Okay, hello and welcome back to my channel, Brand OK. So what I'm gonna teach you today is how to create this Cora model. You may think that it's kinda hard, as you can see there are a lot of details, but it's really easy because the help of the AI. So this is how I did that. First of all, I used the Midjourney AI to generate the textures of the top view of the Cora. Also we have this. We put the photos in the config UI Marico depth estimation. That depth estimation will generate the depth map out of the photo that we just input in it. And after we done that, we go back to Blender to like merge the depth map and textures to create the, the shape, all of it. Then we just edge it a little bit, then we got all of this. So this thing I call it a template. Template is the is the plan with this these modifiers. So first one is a simple subsurface to create more faces to work with, and second is a display that will pop up this thing, as you can see. And last thing is like subdivide again to make this more smoother. Hey, let me show you the, the wireframe. It looks like this. It's just a plan. Then you first add in this. Then you use a displacement. Then you subdivide again. Okay, now you know how to create this uh, template. So, that's all, that's that how to do this. But if you still don't know how to or uh, you are new to AI and Brenders, I'm tell you I will show you like more step more specific step to do. So first of all, you need to generate the photo photos of the coral first. As you can see we have uh several pumps here. The main one that I use is the top is a top view of coral with the AR one uh one by one because I want it to be like square image so it's not like uh too long too tall or something. After we have this we go into Dude. the comfy UI dev estimation. This is the comfy UI um it's a UI to load like workflow for any AI, like stable diffusion or anything like that, but it's not necessary. You can just do this online if you don't know how to install a uh, comfy UI, because it's kind of complicated for new, for newbie, yeah. So, what you need to do is, you go to website like Hacking Face, searching for like Marico Dev Estimation, then that is like online demo that you can do. But if you do it in Comfy UI, you can see here. Uh, the important one that you need to focus on is this one. This will load the image. Just choose file to upload and select your image that you just generated from uh, Mission AI. Then you use the remap depth. The remap depth is uh, the thing that can control, the node that will control how depth is your output. You can change the min and max value. So my technique is you need to keep uh, the border of the coral only, but if you make this too shallow, the output will be flat when you use the display modifier in Brenders. Okay, let me show you. This one uh, is, you can see the growl, right? So it's really hard to work in Brenders, but if you like lower the value of the min minimum values, if you like get rid of all the growl, if you search the depth of the map. I don't know what, what causes. Okay, after you have this, the border should be like a little bit of gray colors, like darkers, because if all of this is like white or bright, 
everything will look flat. This is like the dimension of the depth. After that, you right click on this save images where you prefer, then you go back to renders. And yeah, use the template that we just did by stacking these modifiers. And after you have this template, you can use the add-on called Im add image as plane to like add the image here. After you have that, you click on the image. You click on the template file that we just did. You pressing Control R on your keyboard and link materials. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, Control R then copy the modifiers. Now you can see that this this good, but it's not right. As you can see, it's not fit in. It's not the same thing. It's not the same depth map. You need to select the same depth map as this one, as the color of it. So it's here. Boom. Now it's perfectly fit because it's the same depth map as our input texture that we just put it in the uh, Mariko depth estimation. Uh, after you have this, you can't, you can't, you cannot modify it because it's just a fast surface as you can see. So what you need to do is you need to apply, apply, apply all the modifier first so you can get the final geometry of that. The way to do that real quick is using the convert and mess. I also add a shortcut like RC to convert this. So now if you go back to edit mode, you can just, well, you can edit it or even scrapping it. Like you can make them in fret or scrap thing if you're good at it. And you may wondering, uh, we still have a growl how to get rid of that. It's really easy. Just, just go to like right view by, oh, you can click on the X axis like here. Now you can see the flat surface. You can select all of this and enable this option. It's called proportional editing. Proportional editing mode is like uh, the way that you can control the other uh, point of the geometry when you move something it's will like going together uh okay that's it but what i want to do first is i want to delete the part that i don't want like the border is not flat as you can see i'll select them first uh you can use something like this to select them then delete it um, it's still not perfect but that's why now you use B to select uh, the growl of that to growl this model select all of it just like this then after you have this, you can recite. Can recite, reshape, moving the uh, foundation of this coral as you like. Now you have the corals, but it's look okay now, but you can add more like micro detail by using the bump, height map, and normal map. You may wonder, we we got only uh the color, the albedo map. What should you do to add like the height map and normal map really easy? The answer is using the bump node and c connect the colors to the height. Now you can see this. This look ugly. But you can adjust the strength, lower it a little bit, adjust the distance. Now you can have the surface detail. And I want to add like the subsurface. 
just a little bit you can see the different right okay then for the normal part if you're okay with this it's okay but I'm gonna use one more AI in this video this is called deep bump I will put the link in the description in the case that you're interested in this the deep bump will generate the normal map from the texture that you should select select the texture you want to generate the normal map then you pressing on the generate the normal map now you have this output connect to the normal map then you connect this to the normal map you can adjust like the way I look this Boom. Now we got one more uh, coral in our collection. It's pretty fast and easy. File, save. And if you open the Y frame, you may see like, whoa, this can't. This can be used in any game engine or anything at all because there are a lot of uh, too many face, too many poly. But if you use it with the nanite, there is no problem at all. But if you want to like use this for mobile game or anything, I will show you the trick that you can lower the resolution of this with the undestructible workflow by using the decimate modifier. Select it, add the decimate modifier. You can use like this one, but it look bad, right? You turn every core into like the triangle. The way, the better way to do that is to unsubdivide and change the iteration value. You see? This can lower the resolution or like the size of the amount of faces really quickly and in quad too pretty good right you can do this with all the output that you just create because all face is like quad they're not trees at all because it's just like uh the plane with a lot of sub y and display maybe and if you see this in the solid mode Okay, I'm gonna just want a wireframe. You can see that it is full of the surface detail. Thank you for the magic of the AI to do this. And thank you you guys for watching to this part. If you happy or you think you can use you can do uh use something in my clips or your work for anything. Uh, please subscribe and like my videos. Thank you so much for watching and hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much. Goodbye.